In this lesson, we'll learn how to create this 3D interaction using Webflow and Spline, where we can scroll to scrub our animation. So let's get started building this out. In Spline, let's head to the Community tab, and I'll search for Cubic. I'll use this first model in our project, and we can scroll down and click Remix. So let's set our frame size to responsive so it covers the screen. Then we'll select our object here. We have two states in here already. And for the base state, let's lock the scale and let's scale it way up. And we'll also push it over maybe towards the left a little. And then in this state here, it's going to scale down till it's pretty much in view. And we'll push it over towards the right like so, hanging off the edge of the screen. And this should happen on page load. So we have an on start event here where we're just transitioning between those two states and we can have that happen over two seconds. So if we preview this, notice how it moves from that position to the next one, and that's looking pretty good. And let's also set where we want it to scroll to. So we'll create a new state here. And in this case, I'm gonna lock the scale, scale it down pretty far, and let's reset the position back to center. And while it's moving that way, let's also have it be rotating just to give this a bit more life. And then we'll create a new event here, and this type is gonna be scroll. So we'll switch the type here to scroll and the uh, canvas is gonna be our trigger whenever the bottom of that element reaches the bottom of the screen. So it's fully in view, it'll start and then we'll have the endpoint be a thousand pixels after that. So for our action here, we're gonna do a transition and we'll transition it between this state and our last state. And let's go over to export and go to play settings. We're gonna disable logo, we'll disable background color so it's transparent, and then we'll disable orbit, pan, and zoom so it doesn't. we don't accidentally move the object while we're scrolling. And on mobile as well, let's disable everything except for scroll. Now we can also add on hover. So while our cursor is moving, we might want the camera to slightly rotate and follow us. I'll turn the sensitivity way down and disable the reset. And let's go ahead and play this. So on page load, it moves to that position. Our cursor is moving the camera slightly. Once we start to scroll, we'll notice it is going down to where we want it. Our um, cursor still moves the camera, so everything's good there. Now let's head over to export and we'll head to viewer. And to get this in Webflow, all we need to do is hit copy embed. So in Webflow, I'll add an embed and we can paste in our code we copied from Spline. Let's put it in between the hero and footer and we'll give it a class of embed. Let's give it a height of 100 VH and let's go ahead and publish to test. So we'll notice that our scroll interaction doesn't start until the bottom of this canvas reaches the bottom of the screen. Then it starts, but it's animating while we're scrolling out of view. So we wanna keep this embed sticky so we get to see the whole interaction. To do that, let's wrap our embed in a div block and we'll give this div a class of track. And we wanna set the height on the track dynamically. So we know our embed here has a height of 100 VH. It's covering the full screen. Our animation doesn't start until the bottom of that embed reaches the bottom of the screen here. And we wanna set this embed to position sticky so it stays with us while we're scrolling past the whole track, which means this track needs to be taller than the embed. We're gonna set its height using some custom CSS. We'll set the track height to 100 VH plus a thousand pixels, since we know that the spline interaction continues for a thousand pixels after the bottom of that embed reaches bottom of screen. So now we'll see the embed is staying with us while we scroll. And if we go ahead and publish this, let's test it. So now we should notice our scroll interaction still doesn't start till bottom of embed reaches bottom of screen, but now it's sticking with us while we scroll past that entire interaction. Once the interaction's finished, we're allowed to scroll the rest of the page. Lastly, we want this embed to be in between our hero text here and the hero text should be able to scroll out of the way while the embed stays sticky inside of this track. So we have our hero section here that has a height of 100 VH. We can give our track some top margin of negative 100 VH to pull it up into the hero section. And then we'll select this heading here and let's give it position relative Z index one. I'll select the paragraph here, give it position relative Z index three. And so that way this text will actually scroll out of the way while our track here, the content inside it is sticky. So that's working fine. And then we'll select the track and give it position relative Z index of two. So it's in between the heading and the paragraph. So let's go ahead and publish and try it out. 
So on page load, we have our nice intro animation here. We can move our cursor to rotate the camera. Whenever we start to scroll, everything is working nicely. It eventually unsticks and we're able to go into the footer. And that really wraps up how to create this 3D scroll interaction in Webflow.